can't put it back. It's too dangerous. The train is out yeah. of control. Did the game think you were trying to dump all? Yeah, I thought I was just trying to just say, fuck it. Billy could have made it. <laughs> no need a magnetic car. Yeah. Uh, I think I need to use a, a different key card for that. Right. That might be a puzzle. There's a terminal. There's a document that mentioned it. There's um two different cards. Oh. Also, the only reason I carried the gas with me was because I missed this last time. This is not for anything else, right? <coughs> nope. Just these. I'm not gonna need that. I'll leave it on the ground. <laughs> I got a Molotov cocktail. Let me just leave it on the floor. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it down. How do they light it? Billy has a lighter. Does yeah. he? Yeah. See? What do you know? Oh yeah, and uh, Rebecca's is the med kit. I know there's still a fucking zombie in that room, but it just selectively decides when it wants to be there. Does every dude in the RE universe smoke? Oh. Well. <laughs> Did you think that was you? That no, it's just the camera cut um, before I could Okay, react. that's a very detailed, uh, like, slump over thing. Yeah, that was an interesting animation. And now you're fine. This is, like... They, they were developing this before the game came out, so... The menu noises are really nice for some reason. Yeah, I'm really I honestly like think Capcom effects. has really good menu noises. <laughs> Thing yeah. is, even if they were developing the game, and you know what? You know what? I really, you know what? You know what's nice? The, the color of the 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 fine, that that shade of green is really nice. <laughs> you know, Capcom may not be have been doing so well lately, but at least they know menus. This is Delta <laughs> team. This is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Is that Hunk? Yeah. It's oh, hello, it's Wesker. It's Wesker. It's Wesker oh, and uh, Birkin. Barkin. And why? This <laughs> Barkin. <laughs> Well He's actually a dog. Three miles away. That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> that's Hunk, isn't it? Nope, neither yeah. of them are Hunk. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he died? No, that's not Hunk. Punk. Yo, human unit never killed. <laughs> Punk. Also known as ridiculously. Really? It's too it's dangerous, dangerous to go along. It's fucking Zelda now. Take this. I actually read on TV, on TV Trolls that uh, Wesker and Brickin were basically the main characters of this game. Because the, their actions are the what actually matters in the like entire series plot. <laughs> in a sense, yes. Oddly enough, Spencer is also incredibly important to in the series, but we never see him until five. Of course, it's not like the series has a good plot that he needs to care about. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's usually the most minor detail. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck that zombie. He's a dick. <sighs> Whatever. I really shouldn't have.
Yeah. What was the person it. doing in the fridge anyway? I, you know, let's not, let's not question that. <laughs> That's a good question, actually. That's a great <laughs> question, but I don't have the patience right now. Because Resident Evil's fucking dumb, is the answer. <laughs> the zombie congratulating me in the background. You did it. He's a nice ass zombie. The save room is this one, I believe. Nice, a dodge. Uh, do you run faster without a weapon in this game? Yes, you do. Okay. Just like in Resident Evil 1. Alright, I drop him in the train cart behind me, I think. them way far back. Oh well. You gonna go all the way back? No, I don't plan on dying, so. If I do, then that sucks. Let's regroup. Okay. <laughs> That's Trace. Oh. They actually have lines. That's cool. Well, yeah, you need lines to trace. Ah, oh, yeah, this part. Oh, yeah, keep, now you tell keep me. Keep an eye on that number. 28H. 208H. I'll go alone. Okay. Oh, so it's like... I think just it's 8,000 for An easy way to... I rem For some reason, I distinctly remember that number, but I don't remember if it was actually important. <laughs> Selective memory. So I guess my memory's already fuzzy. My face one. Alright, this is basically where the time limit is. Ah, this is gonna suck. <laughs> the train line, the derailer crash. I gotta stop this thing. <laughs> <laughs> So I have to hit the brakes in the back of the train now. Okay. <laughs> Rebecca spent too much time <coughs> talking with Chris. Read this. I have to stop. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Number one. Step one, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. <coughs> Completely separate from each other. What the fuck? First car <laughs> driver's compartment. Rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic car into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls for some reason. Step 2. Enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be input. Uh, that's not even grammatically correct. Can be input. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes will be available for use. What the yeah, fuck? I like they were like an emergency. There's no logical reason it should work this way. I'm in pain right well, now. Well, remember, Umbrella... Umbrella by bought this train apparently. So Okay, let me just the explanation just is this this is an umbrella train apparently. apparently. So, so that's why it's stupid. Where I am now and all the way in the back of the train. Yeah. Literally as far away as possible that they could be. Yes. Great fucking job. Okay. <laughs> and now you also need to be blindfolded. So I need to have the magnetic card. Which means I need to carry the card all the way to the other end of the train. Then I have to enter the code in the back of the train. And the code in the front of the train. <laughs> and it's two different codes, apparently. Upon completion of these three steps, 
Well, the manual, the manual for the bridge. Oh wait, no, it's just manual. For the <laughs> manual for the bridge. <laughs> I just you open the manual. And it's just step like, one. It's just but the like thing. even so, like <laughs> yeah. you have to do all these for breaks. The thing that should be easily. Um, Rebecca should stay behind. Yes. Billy's gonna tank all the hits. Rebecca should like, stay behind. I'm pretty sure there's a I'll zombie that will be behind you now. And manipulate the control panel for the break. Then you apply the break from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Wow, natural dialogue. Be careful. No five long, five minute long pauses. Right. Oh god. Dude, oh, Billy, yeah. I need the card. That's ammo right there. Yeah, I might need that. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's zombie in this hall. Alright. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, well, fuck that. Yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, uh, Where like, were they before? They were there. They were there. They were dead. They just died. Died in the cutscene. I think Edward's gonna become a zombie too. Oh. Yeah, he became a zombie. <laughs> yeah, let's just leisurely jog down the train. <laughs> Some like that Wario spinning throw shit in Wario World. Run, Gabe. What do you think oh, I'm doing? Oh, 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 oh. Have a rotten day. Yep, that's a star member, all right. It's a member of Star in my life. Anyway. Apparently, he tanks a lot of bullets, so it's just not worth killing him. Because he has the best. Yes. You don't shoot zombies in the face, are you crazy? Do you know how hard it is to actually shoot somebody in the head? Heads are small targets. And they wobble. And, and anybody who's trained to use a gun does not go for the head. <laughs> you aim for the center of mass. Yeah, if you shoot someone in the chest, there's only like, you know, five it's vital not, organs you yeah. could shoot. <laughs> It's not like it's a video game where you can rush off and, like, a chest <laughs> shot. Like, oh, no, it's fine. When you get headshot, ah! Even the, the best snipers. Especially, yeah, if it's a sniper round, you can kill someone by blowing their fucking leg off. It doesn't matter. Okay, what's the So, at the, at, the, at the end, add up to 81. Sam, you're the math genius. Wait, what? I you want first. Oh, okay. Wait, can I just hit the uh, same number? Dude, no. Oh, I see. I put in like a bunch of nines in it. Wait, yeah, so it's nine times nine. How many of the bulbs are there? Yeah. Wait, wait, go go back. How many bulbs? Go back and let's count them. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, ten. seven, eight, ten. ten. Well, so do do like eight nine. Nines. Yeah, do eight. Yeah, do eight nines. And then do two that add up to. Yeah. That's fine. And this is why Sam's here. He is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the break. Over. Roger. I'll put the break on now. So same shit again. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah. It's John Cena. How many? One, two, three. Four, it's ten. Five, one six, is already filled up, and you have to add to 36. Good luck. Okay. First, let me just get it wrong. And then... Yeah. Okay. Um. Three. 
Wait, so the, the one is... Did you accidentally hit There's ten. Once. One is filled. No, one is filled. No, oh. it's not. I pressed it. Oh. Oh. Eight threes, that'll give you 24, and then we just need to get that to 36. Yeah, eight, if, yeah, if you do eight threes for 24, there's two more, right? So you can do two sixes. Six. So eight threes, two sixes. Yeah. This is actually kind of hype, though. It's math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, six. Yo, imagine, <laughs> imagine if one of, one of them was always filled, though. <laughs> that would be it. Yeah, much would, more interesting. You would never... You would need like 30 minutes for that. That would be a math, like an actual math problem. <laughs> actual math problems. Yeah. Alright. So, you're on a train ridiculous. where the brakes are all the way in the back <laughs> and the front. You only can press 10 numbers. <laughs> Two trains. One from, one from Chicago, the other from New York. <laughs> travel towards each other. One is moving at 40 miles an hour, the other is moving at 50 miles an hour. Billy and... <laughs> Billy and Rebecca are on one train. Those are some Jill bad question Chris names, on the too. Other. <laughs> yeah, Billy, is, really normal Billy is walking at one mile per hour toward the back of the first train. <laughs> Jill is moving at one mile Jill. per hour. <laughs> Where did Jill go from? She's on the other train. Wait, Sam, also, calculate the derivative of Billy's motion and account for instantaneous... <laughs> If the instantaneous velocity of Billy at Y is equal to Billy's <laughs> average velocity, what is the derivative of Rebecca's velocity? <laughs> Actually, the hardest, the hardest train problem. Right? Yeah, I'll say it after this. Manages to stop the train. <laughs> Yeah, so right. the hardest actual train. Uh, oh, watch out. Oh, well, yeah. that's a lot of shit. <laughs> um, you'll just kill him. Actually, that is a good idea in this game. Should I just use this? I'm gonna get a new shotgun soon, right? Yeah. Blow them away. Blow me away! Blow away I'm now! Go <laughs> you stay here. Wait, did he not go down? No, he's dead. His head came off. It's just that they walk forward a little bit, but they're no. harmless. So yeah. they, they change. <laughs> in, in fact, it's good because they, like, stop the zombies from walking that space. Oh, that's, the only so reason I'm killing the zombies like, here is because there's a shitload of items, and I really don't want to come back to fucking fire zombies every time I'm here. Yeah, that would make sense. Just make sure... So let you kill these guys, and then I'll say what I was going to say. Sam. Three... <laughs> Three people, three dudes, go to a hotel. Actually, Cam, should I just use the rest of this just to be safe? What? Should I just use this to be safe? The shot, the shotgun? Yeah, because it's two shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea here. I'll have Billy put cover fire up for me. Enter a hotel. The fee oh, is God. thirty dollars. Oh, this problem. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't already know it. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't remember exactly okay, remember okay. the answer, but I've heard this. The fee is thirty dollars. They each pay ten dollars. Then, uh, after they, they they're in the room, the clerk realizes that he overcharged them and gives the bellboy five dollars back. The bellboy realizes he can't split that into three, so he keeps two dollars and gives three to the um, dudes. So um, they each ended up paying only nine dollars for the hotel. Nine okay. times three is twenty-seven, plus the two that the bellboy cut is twenty-nine. What happened to the extra dollar? Damn. Yeah, this yeah. There was a handgun ammo that I didn't get here, that I saw on the train, but I just didn't pick it up. Oh, um, no, it's not items on the train that drop, it's items that you drop that are... Ah, uh, fuck, whatever. This way. Um, I'm not gonna need the fucking hook shot, right? I really... <laughs> hmm. Well, if you need it, like... I cleared the room, whatever. 
And also, like, you get, like, shortcuts. Are you guys still there? No, 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 I know, I'm getting there. <laughs> it's a pretty simple answer. No, it's I mean, because it only costs $25. I believe, I think the answer is that the way that add up, like, the way that adds up in the end doesn't matter. No, it's Because, like, the net, the net payment isn't what they actually. I'm just surprised you didn't get it instantly, Sam. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't oh, remember, remember the answer. Cutscene, boys. This is some sneaky shit. The Umbrella Above. Research Center. <laughs> oh God, here we go again. Another fucking. Another mansion. Another mansion ass. Mansion. <gasps> the first general manager. Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention, hmm? this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life <laughs> who are you it was i who scattered the t-virus in the mansion it was me Dio. To say i contaminated the train too what revenge on umbrella they did ask he's what? literally singing wait why are you singing what's the point of that part <laughs> This is... oh man, I... It's hard to watch. <laughs> Why did this guy feel like he would fit perfectly as like a Metal Gear boss or something? Because he's fucking weird. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> well, fuck, you didn't have to fucking rub it in my face. <laughs> The shot was really just kind of funny because you right, like, where's the nearest typewriter? Wesker do any emotional. There right, we so go. So this is the basically the main part of the game right now. Uh, speed run tech doesn't work. Tell me about the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's up, I already told you the, the, the riddle. It's up to you to find out. Um. Yeah, by the way, I got, I got it from uh, Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> Mega Man tells that riddle in the humor program. Then Lan goes, that's weird. Wait, what's so funny about that? And Mega Man goes, your face! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, Cam? Uh, um, How long ago was it since I saved? This was a while ago. <laughs> and I didn't die. Yes! Alright, so the, yeah, this is the main part of the thing. This is the just the hall. The Umbrella Academy. Very descriptive. This is where they teach. Oh, they left me How to uh, be retarded? Schools. Umbrella has a school? Yeah. That is counterproductive to everything we know about <laughs> the, 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 them. Not a school. It's a research center. No, it's an academy. I think you have to be hired first. Yeah, you had to hire. I don't think it's like you fucking go no, and no, like, no, no, Welcome to Umbrella's training. No, I mean, it's, <laughs> this is where you will okay, learn. It's, How it's, to a, it's a training academy. Like, it's oh, whoa, 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 Cam. Cam, Cam, what? What? Oh, you didn't know about this? What? Um, I was the camera moves. I was, I was talking about this. The fact ah! that they have moving <laughs> cameras. I am, I'm too hype right now. This is, this is insane. This game is like, I gotta, I gotta stop playing. I gotta this fucking, game. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta switch characters. <laughs> you gotta beat my heart really loud. Right, I have to. Your Billy can't do it. <laughs> Rebecca, take this. Take, take fucking, take weed. Take weed. <laughs> fucking combine it for me. Thanks, Bay. All right, now fucking give me back my my sh good shit. All right, thanks. Give me my drugs back. My pasty ass drugs. My um. Wait, see, go, go back to the go back to the herbs just for a second. Does that not look like it's like pasty? 
Oh, it looks like powder up close. It looks it looks more like it's a paste from from that view. It's like those fucking sugar candies. Ilya, the answer is very simple. You just <laughs> All right, I'll give you a hint. It's not a math problem, it's a riddle. <laughs> yeah. It's all shotgun shells, like 50 fucking handgun rounds. Sam, do you get it? I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Billy tried to do the one thing no stars member ever did. Tried to fuck you, fan. Oh, yeah, alright, I got it. So, the. The the part at the N word adds it up that it is supposed to mislead you. It's two dollars. The the bell the bellboy had two dollars, and you subtract the twenty seven from the th the three guys paid. That's minus twenty five dollars. Everything adds up because it costed twenty five dollars to pay for the for the hotel, and then it took it took twenty five dollars away. So there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that bit at the end is supposed to mislead you. Yeah, it had nothing to do with no. You said it had to do with fractions. <laughs> no, Ilya, it does. And I didn't look that up. I I like had to figure that out because I forgot what the answer was. Yeah, so I was gonna say about the the hardest train problem. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was actually really complicated. Like it was like the trains passing thing. But then that had that added element of like a person in the window, like looking out for someone else on the window to the that's, other train. That's a real and it's like, stuff. At what time do the do, do the windows match up? And I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that a thing in the stall? Oh, that's toilet paper. <laughs> also, do you like um, do you like word puzzles? I have a bunch of word puzzles. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, like, this one has multiple answers. Oh, well, oh, well. What? no, no. Oh, oh, oh. That guy. Uh, that's a, oh, that's oh, a leech oh. zombie. Oh, I can't oh, run shit. past that, can I? You need to use a Molotov. Ah. <laughs> you can't run past it. Run past it. Hey, I needed to try. I've never fought it before. Yeah, that's, that's a fair point. It worked. Although, it probably only worked because the door was well, yeah, but the door's right there. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but... Hey. If there it was worked, more than one, then never. Fuck. The point is you look out there. a leech zombie with anything other than fire. Kill it with fire? Yes, because... No, but if you kill it any other way, they'll they'll explode. My face when. Is, does it guarantee he... <laughs> Hell yes, face when. <laughs> what the fuck? Run! Get, get a Molotov, <laughs> dude! I have a Molotov, but... I wanted to save that, them. That wasn't even Wolf. That was like <laughs> their genuinely is... scared game. No, well, you you said it like you were Admiral Akbar or something. <laughs> Molotovs what are for this fuck? very reason. Um, they don't respawn, right? No. These okay. zombies are like. Well, the one on the bathroom. I'm not I gonna still, bother I, killing. I still can't get over that. That was fucking terrifying. I hope you realize I turned a corner and saw a giant fucking leech zombie. Apparently, Rebecca is better at aiming Molotovs. Oh, is she? I read that somewhere. How does that make sense? Uh, whatever. Maybe she's like Jeff from Earthbound. <laughs> I kind of just don't like putting Rebecca in harm's way as a thing. Especially because she's. Oh, like, you want to protect your wife? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's she in does. caution, too, so that's the other thing. You gotta be cautious. I feel like if you get hit by a leech zombie once, you're just gonna die. It's not a hunter. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. Cam, it didn't die. <laughs> okay, Cam, I don't remember if it off. died in one hit or not. It's, uh, it's, it's not you giving a fuck. You just saved it, right? I saved it not that long ago. Honestly, I might, I might just, just avoid them. Oh shit! That sounds like a puzzle. Alright, it's dead. Wow, you need a three. I don't know if it's better to just use Molotovs on them or to just 
Shoot them first. Well, it kind of sounds experience. like you should shoot them and then finish them off with the Molotov. That did a lot of damage. Yep, you could take a few more hits. I can, but it did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Yeah, those are like... It's like I feel like I just started the fucking game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a zombie. It is a zombie indeed. It's a Zambambo. And there are more Zambambos. There's none around the corner, right? No. No. Cool. So, I... You know what the other thing that's fucking me up is? In, in RE1, the music would get more intense for just, like, regular zombies. That doesn't happen in this game. Well, that's only when the zombies broke, like, windows and shit. Good thing there's a table here. Bad thing there's a camera angles here. Oh! No, oh, wow. Damn. Damn. Those long arm, that long arm tech. Jesus, right there. <laughs> Should we, can, can that be the new Raymond room now? Cause there's like a table. She can run around. <laughs> I guess. Unless there's another balcony in this mansion. Which it looks like there might be. But, but remember there's two zombies here. Anything else important in here? Um, I don't think so. I guess not. All right. Well, I got the ammo. That's probably it. Um, that was horrifying still. Could we please not ignore the fact that there was a fucking leech zombie? Uh, they're, they're a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Sense of direction is gone entirely. Now you know how I feel. Yeah, except I don't have a GPS. Oh. It's a gray screen. Anything I hear? No, yeah, that's a wall. Don't, you don't have a GPS. Not like a GPS was helpful for me that much anyway. <laughs> well, it was a little more aggravating when I quite literally told you where to go and then you didn't go there. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I can't do anything there. <laughs> Resident Evil, everybody. Oh, can I do something here? No, I guess not. That's how first playthrough goes. Yep. And, then, and that music is pretty spoopy. Oh yeah, that's some spoopy shit. It actually reminds me of that XCD comic. Oh, there's a door over there that I haven't gone through. Oh, the, uh, the red door on the right. Yeah. <sighs> it's probably locked. Hold on. And there's a second floor. Yeah. Well, let me try going through that other door real quick. And if there's, if I can't, then whatever. Why does what does what is with umbrella and mansions? I mean, this I am surprised that bit me from that far away. You're like max range, dude. That zombie was Marth. Uh, fire oh, motif. Fire motif. Okay. Still know what I need. I need the fire emblem. You need the fire emblem. <laughs> like how it turned into a Morph. chorus from zombies. Turned into Morph. Morph. What the fuck? Oh, are we re this oil painting depicts two lovers at play. Oh, that's nice. Uh, does it really? 
Um, let's take a look. Uh, uh, Ilya, use your artistic expertise. What does that painting depict? That one? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. It looks like this one thing where, I don't, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> Oh sure like, yeah, they can't the hear you. There was like a dude and a lot of women, they're all like talking or something. That's what it looked like. There is no death in that So apparently, it's, it actually, it does kind of look like symbolic. two lovers at play, actually. Man, didn't know Billy was just a fucking yeah, fine arts know. major. Reminds me of the, um, the Mexican dude from uh, Ant-Man. This looks like it could be a puzzle. Yeah, more when you kill this guy. <laughs> that is most definitely a puzzle. Yeah, there was like some. Poorly I don't remember the. Answer. Okay, so the map does tell me which rooms are open and which ones are locked. I don't remember if it was now, but there was like a, a, a puzzle involving an angel and a demon statue. That sounds like it's probably now. It sounds like you put one statue on one side and the other statue on the other side, and then that unlocks something. That's, that's, this that's is where they make speeches at Umbrella. Oh, there's a shotgun shells and stuff on the right. So today, for Umbrella Research, we're going to conduct experiments on bees. We're going to make our 43rd plant, giant plant thing. disc. I need the system disc. Alright. Yo, they got some bitchin' speakers, though. Oh, man. The subwoofers on those things. I mean, for, like, 1998? <sighs> wait, wait, 1998. How about that OS on that computer? Yeah. How Shit, is it's Windows 98! How is Fuck this you. OS better than the other one? It has gradients. <laughs> <laughs> That's the arrow design. Why would I save here? I guess this is a safe room? You can't just tell because there's no item boxes. It's also the fact yeah, that, true. like, there's another typewriter literally over there. Downstairs? Yeah. It's kind of pointless. What does that mean? It's a good thing the TV is not getting picked up. <laughs> Regulations for trainees. Oh, here we go. Training here facility management. This, this is gonna, gonna be, be good. Shit. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corporation. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, even though all our zombies happen to be male, race, even though all our zombies happen to also be white, or creed, because none of our zombies are Ezio, produce only the best candidates to the all future leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the lead development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guideline. Wait, you have to read it in the voice. You have to read it in the voice of um the cra the crabby tr the crabby patty training facility guy. Oh my god, I'm trying to remember how that went. Discipline, obedience, unity. <laughs> These three words, the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees, don't be a Squidward, and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. But Wesker accidentally added another word. Chemical X. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the outbreak. Look at Raccoon City. Fucked by sharks, bees, crows, and everything else you can imagine. As Wesker fucks everything with the forces of evil. <laughs> this literally said nothing about the guidelines. This, 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 yeah, this, said this guidelines gave you no instructions. There was no space after that comma I'm triggered. There was no regulations, it was just, um... Just, you know... Do things! Do, do, be these three things that are really vague and not explained. Be honorable! Something none of us are. At all. Ever. Like, seriously, we're all dickheads. 
Clearly they're not disciplined or obedient because they fucking let everything out of their other facility. That guy like zigzags. It's gonna be tough. Uh, is she wearing a body vest? Got him. <laughs> it sounded like another guy. Oh yeah, I see him. Ah, uh, no. Why did you try it? Cause his back was to the wall first. <laughs> that slump animation this is really funny to me. Uh, um, wrong way. There's gotta be something. What? <laughs> said a collection. That's that yeah, fucked up. That that was all me. It's a collection of female statues, and it's like there doesn't <laughs> seem to be anything blank about them. Special. <laughs> well, it's Umbrella Corp. Well, you know I can't dodge it's either. Every zombie. Full of SJWs or and full Billy's of still fine. White men. Billy doesn't give a fuck. Oh, How are you still fine? It's Billy! <laughs> He's a fucking beast! <laughs> well, it's a good thing a. you have Billy in the hardest game in the series. But it's at the can't. Oh, okay, whatever. What's in this room? You know, Yo, look Billy the rest just of the room. makes me think of fucking. Um, okay. Billy makes me just think of Cody. For some reason, who? From from you know you wait, did you, who? Cody from Final Fight and Street oh. Fighter. I wouldn't know. You the yeah, Gabe wouldn't know. But like, come on, care. <laughs> <laughs> she just said Cody. That's actually a, wait. It's a generic name. Doesn't doesn't Cody have? He has an alt in like in Street Fighter. Like an old costume. I mean, Cody. Get it oh out, like, shit, guys! Doesn't... We're gonna need crank. I mean, Cody <laughs> has. Yeah. Cody has handcuffs. I guess there's that. Yeah, he has an alt costume that might be in, might be a reference to Billy, because like I wouldn't put it past Capcom. Because he has he has it's an alt costume. He wears a tank top, ripped jeans, and has a tattoo on his arm that looks kind of like the one Billy has. He also has, like, a band-aid on his face for some reason, though. I guess it's a reference to street fights, but Billy doesn't have that, so I don't I don't know what that's about. I like how Cody's fighting style is literally street fighting. Yeah, no, he is, he's, like, he's the o like, like, the only real street fighter. <laughs> There's only one street fighter in the entire series. Okay, well, thanks, guys. You made it easy. Nice zombies. How are we gonna get past both of them now? You well, might have to kill one of them. Yeah, if I have to, I will. But well, let me take that. Actually, Billy I'll leave is it. a lot harder core than, than Cody is, though. Fucking killed 23 people. <laughs> yeah, all Cody did was beat up. The entire gang, <laughs> again and again, until he got arrested. <laughs> yeah. He was arrested for- He was arrested for being a fucking vigilante. And then he becomes like an apathetic mm, loser. No, he doesn't- he gets arrested- No, he didn't get arrested for the vigilanteism. He got arrested just for getting to fights. Oh. He got arrested Stop. for doing the one thing that the series is named after. <laughs> you gotta remember, Sam, this was made in Japan. It's true. They don't- they don't take that shit lightly. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the hell the computer was. Find the computer, computer room! <laughs> Both we went full synchro. Again. It wasn't where the leech was, right? Sam, do you even know what full synchro is? <laughs> Isn't that a... No, I don't. <laughs> God damn it, Sam. <laughs> well, you can keep using the term, I don't mind. I was just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, I know where I walked right past it. It wasn't like a computer, it was literally on the uh, podium. What is Full Synchro? It's from it's Mega, Mega Man. Man Battle Network 4. No, it's in all the Battle Network games. It's just that it only. Well, it's it, a gameplay it, element in it's, 4. Yeah, it's actually a mechanic in 4 and onwards, but it 
it appears early in the series. I just like, thought full synchro was like it's just a snazzy term now. No, we, we took it from something else. I mean, I've been using it just to describe my relationship with Gabriel. how you navigate with tank control, Sam. Yeah, it looks so natural when you're full of right? Yeah. Do you want to cut off here? I'm good at it. Um, it's 46 minutes. Yeah. Right. We could either cut off here or just go the full hour and then cut it off. I'll, I'll just, cut just cut it off now. The video too. Just cut it off now. Okay. All right. Sam. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to get ready. All right. One, two, twelve.